Hey guys, recently Tencent released three image generation models under the name of Hunyuan Image 2.1. These include a base model called Hunyuan Image 2.1, a distilled model called Hunyuan Image 2.1 Distilled, and a refiner model called Hunyuan Image Refiner. These models can create 2K ultra high definition images, and Comfy UI has already started supporting them. In this video, we're going to see how to run the GGUF models of the base model in Comfy UI. So, Let's get started. First of all, you need to install a custom node pack called GGUF from CalQuiz, which can be installed from the Comfy UI Manager. Let me show you. So open the Comfy UI user interface. Go to the Comfy UI Manager and click on Custom Nodes Manager. Then search for GGUF. Here we go. If we scroll down, we can see a custom node pack called GGUF from CalQuiz. If we move the cursor to the top of it, a link is shown in the bottom left corner. So guys, make sure you are installing the right one. In my case, I've already installed it. Let's close the Comfy UI Manager and start downloading files for running Hunyuan Image. So all the download links are in the description. First, let's see where we can download the GGUF model of Hunyuan Image 2.1. Let's open this link in the browser. Here we go. If we scroll down, we can see a lot of quantized models of Hunyuan Image. It's easy to identify the base model as it doesn't have the words refiner or distilled in its file names. So, guys, depending on your hardware, download the GGUF model you need. I will be using the Q4KS version. Next, we need the text encoders. Let's see what those are. One is by T5SmallGlyph XL. For that, let's open this link in the browser. Here we go. There are various GGUF models of by T5SmallGlyph XL. You can use the F16 or other small quantized models. I will be using the F16. The next text encoder we need is QN2.5VL7B Instruct. So let's open this link in the browser. Here we go. So in here, we can find a lot of GGUF models of QN2.5VL7B. If you have already used QN image models, you may already have this text encoder. If not, download the text encoder depending on your hardware. I will be using the Q4KM version. Next, we need the VAE file, which is also available in GGUF format. So let's open this link in the browser. The file we need to download is pighunyuanimageveafp 32 f 16gguf Use the download button to get it. After downloading all the files we need, let's see where we need to put the files inside Comfy UI. Open the downloads folder. First, let's select and cut the Hunyuan image model. Then open the models folder of Comfy UI. Find and open the folder called Diffusion Models and paste the file. Then, go back to the Downloads folder. Let's select and cut both text encoders, which are by T5SmallGlyph XL and QN2.5VL7B. Then, open the Models folder of Comfy UI again. Find and open the folder called Text Encoders and paste the files there. Then, go back to the Downloads. Let's select the VAE file and cut it. Open the Models folder of Comfy UI again, find and open the VAE folder, and then paste the file. That's it. Let's switch to Comfy UI. First, let's refresh Comfy UI and start building the workflow for using Hunyuan Image. As always, use the R key on the keyboard to refresh Comfy UI. Now, let's begin. First, let's add a node for loading Hunyuan Image. Double click in an empty area and search for GGUF Loader. Here it is. Let's click on it. In the GGUF name field, let's select the model we are going to use. As I said before, I'm going to use the Q4KS version. Next, let's add a node for loading the text encoders. Double click and search for GGUF Dual Clip Loader. Here it is. Let's click on it. In clip name 1, let's choose the QN2.5VL7B Instruct Q4KM. In clip name 2, let's select the by T5SmallGlyph XL. Then, change the type from SDXL to Hunyuan Image. Then, let's add a node for loading the VAE. Double click and search for GGUF VAE Loader. Here it is, let's click on it. In VNAME, let's select Pig Hunyuan Image VAFP32. Next, we are going to add a model sampling SD3 node. Double click and search for model sampling SD3. Click on it. Let's move it here. For the shift value, I'm going to use 5.0. Then, connect the model output of the GGUF loader to the model input of model sampling SD3. Then, let's add a K-Sampler node. Double-click and search for K-Sampler. Here it is. Let's click on it. Then, connect the model output of the model sampling SD3 node to the model input of K-Sampler. Now, let's change some settings inside K-Sampler. I am going to use 20 steps. 
For CFG, I am going to use 3.5. The sampler will be Euler and for the scheduler, we can use simple or beta. So let's choose beta. Now let's add prompts. So double click and choose clip texting code. Let's name it positive prompt. Then let's clone the node and move it here. Let's name it negative prompt. Now let's connect the clip output of the GGUF dual clip loader to the clip inputs of both the positive prompt and negative prompt nodes. Then connect the conditioning output of the positive prompt to the positive input of K sampler and the conditioning output of the negative prompt to the negative input of K sampler. Next, we need to add a node called empty Hunyun image latent. Double click and search for empty Hunyun image latent. Here it is. Let's click on it. By default, the node already comes with 2K resolution. Let's connect the latent output of the empty Hunyun image latent node to the latent image input of K sampler. Then let's add a node called VAE decode. Double click and search for VAE decode. Let's click on it. Connect the latent output of K sampler to the sample's input of VAE decode. Then connect the VAE output of the GGUF VAE loader to the VAE input of the VAE decode node. Now let's add a node for saving the generated images. That's it. Now, let's start generating images. In the positive prompt, describe the image you want to create. In the negative prompt, write things you don't want in your generated image. I have some prompts in my notepad, so let's copy that to the positive prompt. For the negative prompt, let's copy this to the negative prompt. Now, let's run the workflow and wait for the result. While generating, I got an out-of-memory issue. I don't know why, as I ran a lot of tests with the model before and this is the first time this has happened. Anyway, I tried again and this time it worked. So, let's wait for the result. So, the generation is finished. Let's take a look at the image. Let's open it in a new tab. As you can see, the quantized model did a pretty good job. Guys, I expect the full model can do even more. Now, let's try another prompt. Let's copy this to the positive prompt and run the generation. It's completed. Let's take a look at the image. Let's open it in a new tab. As you can see, the generation is pretty good. Now let's check if the model can handle text. So let's copy another text prompt to the positive prompt. Guys, when you want text in your generated image, make sure you put the text inside single or double quotes. Let's run the workflow and see the result. It's completed. Let's take a look at the image. As you can see, the text is really good. Now let's try some complex text rendering. So let's copy another text prompt to the positive prompt. Now let's run the workflow and wait for the result. Here we go, the generation is completed. Let's take a look at the image. Let's open it in a new tab. As you can see, the text generation is really good. The 3D text looks like it was created with Blender. I really love it. What do you think of this image? Please let me know in the comments section. And guys, here are some more resolutions you can use for your generation, so try them as well. Thanks for watching. Consider this video as a basic starting point and news. I will be running more tests and will see you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.